Okay, Mike, thank you. Now, new at 5.30, a personal care home in McKeesport on edge. Literally. Take a look at this huge cliff. It's been inching closer and closer, and now it's just feet from a pavilion where residents gather. The owner is at odds with the city leaders over fixing that problem. Yeah, Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Matt Belanger went to McKeesport to get some answers. What do you think, JD? You ready for tonight's dinner? Craig Anloff runs the Palms at O'Neill Personal Care Home in McKeesport. The pavilion out back is closed now because just feet away behind a fence, this is happening. What happens if another piece of land slides away? On paper, the eroding land belongs to a group called Hospitality Corp. They're no longer in existence. I can't find them. Have you tried? Yes. Here's the problem. This neighboring property is still technically privately owned, and city officials say their experts have determined there's no immediate public safety threat here, so they don't have a reason to cite the owner. Anloff says he worries most about the safety of the elderly people living at his facility. In response to our questions, city leaders in McKeesport say they will send code officers and engineers to the property again to assess any danger. But they say unless something changes, there's nothing they can do, and Anloff should continue trying to reach the owner of the land. City officials say you should have realized what you were buying when you purchased this property because of what was next door. How do you respond to that? I did realize what I bought. I bought a piece of property. It was stable. There were no issues that I knew of on my property that I purchased. Anloff says he doesn't see how the situation is different from the city tearing down abandoned buildings. Because it's not a dilapidated falling down building, the city's ignoring it and it's still a public threat. In McKeesport, I'm Matt Belanger, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.